One of the most crucial features of the whole lead system is the ability to set up customized filter sets for your lead buyers. Based on these filter sets, the system knows which leads to send to which partners. You can set them up in each partner's account under Lead Filter Sets. Select the lead type from the drop-down and click the plus sign next to it. You can have as many filter sets from as many lead types as you need for each partner. There's a lot of options in this page, so if you're unsure about what some of them do, just click the Definitions page link at the top to see their explanations. At the top, enter the name of the filter set and the price. This will be the price the leads matching this filter set will be sold for. If you are selling leads on a dynamic ping post model, the price for the lead will be determined by the partner's bid instead of the filter set price. For ping post lead types, you can take out your margin either on the source level or the filter set level. If you choose the latter, you will be able to set it as a fixed dollar amount or a variable percent amount that can depend on the price range you specify. So for example, for leads under $5, you will take out 10%. For leads from $5 to $10, you will take out 15%, and so on. The default profit margin is the percentage that is used if the dynamic bid is above whatever the maximum price is. Then select the sources this filter set will accept and set up the delivery method. If you can't see, just click the blue eye icon to show it. You can have leads emailed to the buyer in a number of formats or you can have them delivered via a custom delivery that we built for you if your buyer has their own system or CRM. You can set up additional deliveries in case you want the same leads delivered in multiple formats or to multiple emails. Then you can adjust their priority and exclusivity. Partners with higher priority will be checked first. Then you have the ability to set daily, weekly and monthly limits and select the time zone and the days and times when they accept leads. You can even select particular dates and times when leads should not be posted to this partner for example, if they don't want to receive leads during the holidays. At the bottom, there will be switches for the filterable fields of each lead type, so usually at least state and zip. To apply a filter, you have to enable it at the top first, and then specify the accepted values. For zip, you can choose to include or exclude particular zips or zip ranges, or leave it to ignore this filter. You also have the ability to automatically generate zips by distance or county. Other filters will be more lead type specific. So for example, for life insurance, you could have age and face value. And for payday, you could filter on income and employment status and so on. The filter set for inbound phone looks similar, but there are some differences. At the top, you need to enter the partner's phone number that will take the leads. Below that, you can specify the maximum number of concurrent calls, the per minute fee if you want to charge it, and the minimum number of minutes for a successful call. You also have the ability to record the calls, use the default routing for failed calls, and set the ring timeout in seconds. There's a number of quick access tools on the filter set overview page. You can get a bird's eye view of each filter set, activate or deactivate it, add it to multiple partners and view the history of changes. You can also drag and drop the boxes if you want to adjust the layout of the filter sets and change the delivery method from this page. The limits and priority settings at the top will change what's inside the filter set. The ones in the small box here only apply when there are multiple partners or sub-partners inside one filter set.